Hi guys, Andre from Convey of Randomness here and today I'll be showing you how to use your iPad with your Mac as a graphics tablet with Sidecar. You know the ecosystem that Apple has, that walled garden as some people like to describe it, that allows almost all of the hardware that Apple makes and designs to have the ability to communicate with each other almost seamlessly, no matter which Apple product you have. And this ease of use between devices can often result in consumers, like myself, buying more and more Apple devices because of the convenience and familiarity of the ecosystem that Apple nurtures to be this interlocking familiar place if you have their products. Sidecar is one of those typical Apple features that uses the connection relationship relationship between an iPad and a Mac and essentially allows your iPad to be a second screen for your Mac system, whether you are mirroring or extending the primary screen. Setup is simple and all you need is any Mac computer with Catalina or later. I'm using an M1 Mac Mini and an iPad with iPad OS 13 or later. I'm using the 2017 10.5 inch iPad Pro. I'll list here and in the description below all of the Macs and iPads that Sidecar is compatible with. You can connect your iPad to your Mac wirelessly or via USB to keep it charged. Both devices will need to be connected to the same Apple ID and have both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled to allow the successful connection between the two. To connect the two devices together and initiate Sidecar from your Mac, if you are using Big Sur or later, select the display menu from within the control center and select your iPad to make the connection. Your display may look a little bit different to mine depending on how you've customised your desktop display to look. Selecting the iPad again after this will terminate the connection. When you do make that connection the system will either extend or mirror your Mac display on your iPad to start with. Mirroring creates a duplicate screen from your Mac and extending creates a second screen of your Mac display. If you want to change to the other display type just select the other method to change. But for this video I'm using the iPad as a graphics tablet we will just need to mirror the display. Using your iPad as a graphics tablet for your Mac can be a useful way of repurposing your iPad particularly if it's feeling neglected if you've bought a new Mac computer or your use of the iPad has decreased. Using the mirrored display of your Mac in this way means that you're able to get more hands-on and be more intricate when it comes to using design apps and being a bit more creative with things that require a little bit more dexterity compared to using a conventional mouse which gives you the fluid motion and control up to a certain point. You're now able to take advantage of the touchscreen features, have access to sidebar buttons that put frequently used keyboard buttons at the side of your iPad screen and use multi-touch gestures on the screen of the iPad that you may already be familiar with using on the iPad itself or on a trackpad like pinch to zoom, swiping, scrolling, as well as the standard touchscreen commands. Take advantage of the Apple Pencil with its low latency and its ability to be intuitive and accurate as you glide the pencil across the surface of the iPad, giving you that feeling of creating, designing, or editing as if you are putting an actual pen to paper. Giving you the access to menus and controls just like you would if you were using a mouse, whether you are editing photos in Affinity Photo or creating drawing masterpieces. You can easily click on the toolbar, make final adjustments that the movement of a mouse just sometimes isn't fluid enough compared to the freeness of a pencil in the hand. If you are rendering projects in Blender or adding that personal touch to a document, the list of things that this could benefit you with is as endless as you want it to be. I use a paper-like screen cover on my iPad which adds to the writing and drawing experience, giving me a more authentic paper-like feel when the Apple Pencil interacts with the screen of the iPad. I will link to my video on the paper-like cover up there and in the description below. The communication between devices like these means that anyone has access to the tools to be more professional and potentially take your work up to the next level. Yes, you wouldn't purchase an iPad just to be used as a second screen, but it's certainly something that it could be used as. There are cheaper alternatives out there that act solely as drawing or graphics tablets without a screen and some more costly with a screen that offer more dedicated features, but don't discount the added Mac experience that the iPad gives you with the sidecar feature. The way that the Mac and the iPad interact with each other means that you're able to take control without even touching a mouse or keyboard once you've connected the two together and turn your iPad into a graphics tablet for your Mac and why not further enhance the experience with using an Apple Pencil as well. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Why don't you watch one of the two videos below or both if you want click before the time runs out. Three. Two, one.